I am super ready for this video. I am wearing my Ravenclaw cardigan here. Ravenclaw pride. <laughs> Hello people of YouTube and welcome to another video from my room here in Lima, Peru. So today I'm gonna show you everything I got at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and more. And I am saying that because as I was already in the US, I had the chance to go to other shops such as Hot Topic, um, Barnes & Noble, Target, and I also did some online shopping, so I'm gonna show you all that. Before making this video, I was debating whether I should say how much I spent on each item because I know there will be people saying, oh my god, like I can't believe this, she wasted her money, like nonsense. But I get it, everything is so expensive inside the parks that literally every time I saw something that I wanted, I was like, Pamela, you've worked so hard for this, you've saved for so long for this, you deserve this. And so the only reason why I'm gonna say the prices in today's video is because before going to Universal, I watched haul videos too that helped me budget for this trip. So hopefully this video will be helpful to you as well. So without further ado, I am super ready for this video. I am wearing my Ravenclaw cardigan here, Ravenclaw pride. <laughs> Let's just get to the video. <laughs> The very first thing I'm going to show you guys is this Universal gift card. There is always this promotion going on that if you spend a minimum amount of $300 on a gift card, you get a free wand. And since I already knew how much money I was going to spend inside the parks, that's the first thing I did. I went to the Universal Studio store and purchased my $300 gift card and got my free wand. I got Jeannie Weed Weasley's wand. It's so cool. It's plain black and it might look pretty simple but looks elegant at the same time. I just love it. With my gift card on hand, the first thing I did was go into Diagon Alley and watch the Ollivanders show. Unfortunately, I wasn't chosen because there were kids at the show so obviously kids are a priority i don't know why but <laughs> i know that by that time i already had genie's one but this is not an interactive one i needed an interactive one to be able to do magic at the parks i got fleur delacours and it's just so beautiful you have a map that shows hogsmeade and then diagon alley and the spots where you can do magic inside the parks and this is the wand oh my god it's so beautiful this is my favorite one among all the characters ones what i really like about this wand is the handle it has a stylish look but badass at the same time and it's very comfortable to hold too i can actually put my thumb right here and then rest my index finger right here and i don't know it's just perfect for me i i love it so much <laughs> after purchasing my wand the next thing i did was going to madden malkins and got my ravenclaw robe these robes are so expensive that i only wore it once to take a picture and that was it because i didn't want to stain it but it's so pretty i am so happy to finally have the official robe and it retails for 139 dollars okay next honey dukes this bag retails for 25 dollars but there's this promotion that if you spend 35 dollars you can get this for 15. so that's what i did i got a chocolate frog for 13 dollars and i got albus dumbledore just like Harry. <laughs> then I got two face masks, $8 each. Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. I also bought this reusable bag that retails for $6. So two face masks, one chocolate frog, one reusable bag, everything for $35, plus my Honey Dukes bag for $15. So it was a nice deal, okay? Going back to Diagon Alley, I went to Weasley's Wizard Wheezes and got a 
Give me puffed. It's so cute. It is actually a keychain, and although I didn't do the adoption show, he has a name. His name is Frank, and it cost $12. I also got myself a love potion. It is actually a sweetener. It retails for $9.95. And the last thing I got is this super cool pen for $14. It is so cool to me, his friend, okay? So those were the things I got on my very first day at Universal. So the next day when I went back, I was walking around London. It sounds so weird, but yeah, there's a London section at Universal outside Diagon Alley. So there's this card and I purchased a Grimmel Place keychain for $9. Then I went to Globus Mundi. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but I got this Gringotts Dragon pin. It's a very big pin. It retails for $14. I'm not a pin collector actually, but these are just so nicely made that oh, I just needed to have this. <laughs> Universal is always packed with people, but especially inside Diagon Alley and Hawksmaid. So it's kind of hard to take pictures and that's why I got this set of postcards. So here we have Green Gods. Then Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. The Dragon and Green Gods. Diagon Alley at night. The Night Bus. We have a snake or Nagini. The entrance to Nocturne Alley. We have a bunch of signs. Ollivanders. This is where I got my Fleur Delacour's wand. A pygmy puff. And yeah, here we have Green Guts once again. Of course, since I already had the Diagon Alley set, I also needed to get Hogsmeade set. I got this one inside Dervish and Bangs for $12.95 as well. So here we have the Owl Post, Hogsmeade at Night, Honeydukes, the Hogwarts Castle or the entrance to Forbidden Journey, the Hawk's Head, Hogwarts Express, Butterbeer, the Monster Book of Monsters, Dumbledore's office, the sorting hand, and the owl post once again. Outside Derbyshire and Banks, which is right next to the owl post, there is this cart where you can get these stamped for free. And you know, it's a nice magical touch. In Diagon Alley, I went to this shop called We Sacris and I got this hawk's head pin. It retails for $11 and I also got a chocolate frog pin for $15. It is so cool. You can open it and you can find the little frog. It feels like chocolate, like I'm not kidding. And it smells like chocolate too. It's magic. The shop where you buy your magical creatures is called Magical Menagerie. And I bought this cute Cornish pixie for $16. It is so cute! The next day, I just bought a couple of pins. I was walking around City Walk and purchased this Nocturne Alley sign pin for $9. And I also got another pin. I found this pin in a cart right behind Central Park and it cost $8.95. It was my last day at Universal and I realized that I didn't have anything Quidditch related and I love Quidditch. So I went to Quality Quidditch Supplies and got myself a Ravenclaw Quidditch sweater for $109.95 What? That's so freaking expensive I know you guys but oh my god it is so so cool and the fabric is amazing it is made of lamb's wool and 
It is made by Lock Haven. For the ones who don't know, Lock Haven is the company located in Scotland that manufactured the costumes for the movies. So this is an official replica, guys. I'm just so afraid of wearing this, to be honest, because I don't want to damage it, but to have this in my hands makes me so 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 happy and last but not least i went to the hopping pot to buy butterbeer i got myself frozen butterbeer and i asked specifically for the souvenir mug the team member didn't give me a receipt but i think it was 13 dollars in some sense so this is definitely a nice item to display so that was everything i got at the wizarding world of harry potter and i still have quite a few things from other places too so please stay tuned I know this is completely random, but right in front of my hotel in Orlando, there was a Walgreens and I bought this Ravenclaw pin for $3.99. Moving on to my online purchases, I bought this super cute case on casetify.com. I really like it. It's so cute. You have the broom, you have Hedwig, the glasses, the thunderbolt. It is so magical and the box is so cute too. Of course, I got the Ravenclaw crew neck. The fabric is so soft. I can't wait to wear this. I got this for 47 pounds because it shipped from the UK. <laughs> The only problem here is that I bought a small because I'm small and it was too big. It's gigantic, but it's definitely a really nice way to show the Ravenclaw pride. <laughs> and along with the sweatshirt, I also got this prefect pin. It's the Tom Riddle's prefect batch but of course in a ravenclaw version i actually prefer this one to the one that is sold at universal because of its design and it's cheaper too so this is a nice purchase and the last thing i got is this lanyard i actually got this for four pounds 95 it came with a pouch and so inside the pouch i just put my seasonal pass because yes i got a seasonal pass because there is a slight chance that i might go back to the wizarding world next year who knows? Remember that I showed you my Ravenclaw Quidditch jumper made by Lock Haven Scotland? Well, on their website, I bought my Ravenclaw scarf. This is 100% lamb's wool and it is so freaking soft. This is the original replica, guys. So it's obviously expensive. I got it for £44.95, but... Ugh. I just needed to get it. It feels so good in my neck. And I obviously needed to get the tie as well. So this is the Ravenclaw tie. I got it for £18.95. You can see the tag right here and the license. And I am just so happy with this, guys. The next thing I'm going to show you, I can't because it's already unwrapped and on my bed. It's a super beautiful blanket of the Hogwarts castle. You can see the castle, Hedwig, it's so sparkly. I got it at Target for $24.99. It's super soft, so cozy. It's just the perfect touch here in my room. Moving on to Hot Topic, I got my very first Lunchfly mini backpack. This is the cutest backpack i've ever seen in my entire life this is a weasley's wizard wheezes backpack i got it for 49.90 and the interior is purple which is perfect because we already have all the fun outside and oh it's so nice <laughs> this is the first t-shirt i got it's a honey dukes t-shirt i got this for $23.90 but I obviously got a 30% discount because there are always discounts at Hot Topic that's the nice thing about that shop and the other t-shirt I got it's the Night Boss t-shirt and the last thing I got at Hot Topic is this super cool Diagon Alley sign it retails for $12.90 but I got it for $8 because I used my $5 off birthday discount <laughs> And I just can't wait to hang it on the wall. This can look so good. 
on Amazon, you can get nice Harry Potter stuff too, like these five pairs of socks. Luna Lovegood, one of my favorite characters. So we have her. Then you're just the same as I am. The Spectre Specs. Luna again. And finally, exceptionally ordinary. This is <laughs> the coolest t-shirt i have look at that it is so well made like the embroidery is just high quality and then the tie dye i will definitely put the link in the description box if i find it i also got one thing in barnes and noble it's this super cute pen and bookmark it's harry's wand and it retails for $8.95 and the last two items i bought are t-shirts i randomly found at ross I got this Herbology t-shirt. You can see the mandrake right here. You know how much I love mandrakes. And I got it for $9.99. And finally, this is more of a subtle Harry Potter t-shirt, but it has thunderbolts right here. So if I ever go back to the Wizarding World, since I already have my seasonal pass, I will definitely wear these two. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you want to keep hearing from me. This is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys like it and please look forward to the next one. Bye-bye.